Hey guys, welcome back to a new lesson. Today we're going to learn how to utilize masking to color grade. And you might be thinking that these two things are not really related to each other. So why am I using masking to color grade? Well, I do that all the time. And it's one of the most important things you've got to learn in color grading. So let's get into it. Before we start editing, let's download Filmora 12. Click the link below, click download, install it. And now you're ready to follow along this tutorial. So there's a few ways of doing this usually. In Filmora 12 specifically, there isn't really a color mask that we can use within the color grading space. So the easiest and closest thing to it is duplicating your footage on top and then creating a mask within that footage and then changing the color grade of that specific footage. We could also use the AI Smart Cutout feature, but I find that the blur and the way it works, it doesn't really work that well with color grading, so I'd rather use mask and mask it myself. So let's duplicate our footage and we're gonna mask our surfer out. To do this, I simply click on draw mask and I go all around my surfer. Remember, you don't have to be specifically precise with this because we don't want it, the mask to be exactly in the surfer and we're gonna blur it out a lot. So it's mostly important that you kind of go around the edges a little bit, but it doesn't have to be extremely precise. If like in this example, the surfer or your subject is moving, remember you have to track your mask so that it fits the exact movement of the subject. So in this case, we're gonna go to the first frame, toggle the mask path, go to the last frame, adjust it somewhere in between, just so it follows more or less the movement of our subject. Then we're gonna adjust our blur to 100 and also expand our mask. For this instance, you don't want to exaggerate because obviously the surfer, it's gonna look too fake if we exaggerate this effect. All I wanna do is add a bit of warmth and a bit of exposure just to make the surfer pop a bit more. Make sure this effect, it doesn't make your videos too extreme and it doesn't just pop too much. It's supposed to make the subject pop but not make a fake. Another way of using this effect is actually by enhancing the lighting in a scene. So let's grab this shot for example, and as you can see, it's beautifully shot, it's a perfect dynamic range, but I wanna add a bit more glare, a bit more glow coming from the sun. So how do we do this? We duplicate it, create a mask in the top left corner, and we fade it out as much as we can, we expand it as much as we can, all across our frame. Then we're gonna add some warmth, some exposure again and as you can see this shot now looks so much more dynamic so much more three-dimensional just by adding one color mask you can actually change the whole dimension of your video so definitely play around with this another way i also like to do this is by adding not only like a slight surge but then on the opposite sides i'm adding some shadows just so it contrasts even more within the image you can add as many masks as you want i usually work with three to four masks, usually a subject one, a shadow one, an exposure one. So it's really up to you how much work you wanna put into your color grading, but definitely consider learning this technique because it will take your videos, your color grading to the next level. Thank you for tuning in. See you guys in the next video.